بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين صلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Unfortunately due to negative propaganda and the actions of a few extremists meaning that they go beyond the bounds of the sharia they go beyond the bounds of Quran and sunnah of the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that due to this Muslims are characterized everywhere with terrorism and extremism, radicalism, whatever whatever the media tends to call it, whatever policy makers in the various countries tend to deem it and demonize Islam. However, they can't hurt Islam. That's one thing we have to rest assured about that. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala continues to aid his religion and many more people become Muslim because they realize they want the truth and they want that peace and harmony and they want that that uh, to experience God fearfulness and they want to come closer to their Lord and they want to experience the joy of being a, a Muslim, a believer in Islam. However, unfortunately, due to primarily political aspirations because, again, although it's cloaked by the so-called Al-Qaeda militants and, and what have you in Yemen and wherever they may be mostly it's political their demands the fact that certain countries are droning them day and night uh, for example in the south of Yemen they're being droned as they said in the media over five strikes in the past week or so approximately the past week or two weeks five strikes have been on and have killed who knows who they kill they don't even know even when you listen to the policy analysts they themselves says well they're suspected militants but we really don't know because the bodies cannot be identified once they are droned they are burned to a charcoal the problem one of the problems amongst the many with this kind of policy is it tends to force and radicalize people who normally are not of that ideology and susceptible to that ideology but when you see your mother when you see your cousin when you see your brother's wedding bombed in Pakistan in Afghanistan in Yemen wherever it may be that tends to cause anger and it tends to cause push people to radical behavior and those people who capitalize on this are the ideologues who lead those various groups, those extremists, who tend to benefit from the recruit, use that as a recruitment strategy, or they capitalize on that, on the, the, the dissatisfaction with the people, with what's being happened in their various countries, and with the, the loss the people sustain. So it plays into, these kind of policies play into the hands of the radicals, and those radicals try to justify, they attempt to justify what they're doing by the Qur'an and the Sunnah of the Prophet This is one of the biggest problems that we have as Ahl Sunnah, is as Muslims, Ahl Sunnah being moderate, we reject this totally, that this is not substanti substantiated. Wanton violence, suicide bombings, um, killing and harming uh, innocent civilians and, and what have you and declaring war on whoever doesn't support our ideology these are un-islamic concepts these are not from islam and the, and the muslims we reject this but if a few hundred in a particular country or let's say around the world if there are a few thousand that has no reflection on islam why because there is at least one 0.6 billion Muslims in the world. So it shows you that it's a relatively harmful, but yet small, small group that holds these twisted ideologies. But the problem is, is what the media, how the media uses this and tries to pick, uh, characterize Islam, Muslims, and even the Prophet Muhammad as we see from the people who make the cartoons and so forth tries to portray Islam as a violent religion but Allah says 
in the Quran, and we believe this firmly, wholeheartedly, and we see it witnessed every day. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Yuriduna liyutfi'u nurullahi bi afwahihim, wallahu mutimmu nurihi wallahu kariyal kafirun. That they want 